In this example, we have a flat belt and it's installed with an initial tension of 400 newtons. We're told the coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley is 0 0.3 and the lap angle on the smaller pulley is 165 degrees. The smaller pulley has a diameter of 100 millimeters and rotates at 600 rpm. Determine the maximum power which can, the belt can transmit if it is assumed to have a negligible mass. Okay, so 400 newtons, 0 0.3, 165 degrees, we have a radius of 50 millimeters and a rotational speed of 600 rpm. Okay, so we know that the uh, initial tension is the average of, of the two of these. We were told this was 400, so 400 multiplied by 2 is 800. So 800 is equal to T1 plus T2. I'm told that the lap angle on the smaller product is 165 degrees, so that works out to be 288 radians. So from the ratio of T1 is to T2 uh, to e to the power of mu times theta, mu we were told is 0 0.3 and theta 2.88. So when I put that in, um, the ratio of T1 to T2 is 2.37. Hence T1 is equal to 2.37 times T2. Okay. So back into this equation here, then I get 800 is equal to T1. Well, instead of T1, I'm going to say 2.37 times T2 plus T2, which equals to uh, 3.37 T2. Hence, T2 is 2.37.4 and T1 is 562. I got that by dividing 800 by uh, 3.37. Okay, so now I have a value for um, T1 and T2. I have the power equation. So I have T1 there, and I have T2. Now I need to get V. Well, V is equal to omega R, and Omega, we were told it, it was uh, 600 revs per minute, so it brings that to revolutions per second, divide by 60, and then multiply by 2 pi to bring it to radians. And the diameter was 100 millimeters, so that means the radius is uh, um, 50 millimeters. And when I multiply that all out, I get 1.02 kilowatts.